Wait, let me try that one more time. 80s vibe or futuristic? Eh, 80s vibe? I'll go for futuristic this time. Okay, let's do this thing. All right, I think we're good. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Do you hear me okay? Oh, we're not doing Kahoot yet. There will be a Kahoot later on. Hi, Owen. Hi, Lyrical or uh, Jaylene. Right. I got that right, right. Hello, coders. Uh, Mr. Jengis here. Let's put that right there. Okay, uh, all right, what are we doing today? Welcome to another live stream. Uh, today we're making an hey uh, hi Fiona an interactive oh, press enter right here an interactive map I probably spelled that wrong I can bring my volume down a little bit yes today we're making an interactive map this is like a map where you can click on the cities and you can get information about each city. So this is the project that we are building today. Let me put this information right here. Welcome to coding. Oh. Live stream. Live stream. And friends, let me know in the chat. Do you all hear me okay? Is the music too loud? I don't know. I don't know where my levels are. Uh, my name is Mr. Jengis. How you all doing? Oh. This is what we are making today. Interactive map. So y'all can hear me all right so in this map this is a map of turkey by the way friends uh, this is a map of turkey not the bird i'm not talking about the bird here um it's a country and it's where mr jengis is from mr jengis is from here yes i moved from Turkey when I was younger and uh, I lived in Izmir this city right here so in this interactive map what interactive really means oh, let me leave this guy what interactive really means here is we can click on things and things will pop up that's basically what interactive means it means that you can interact with it you can touch it and things will happen so if I click on Izmir my hometown I'll get some information the region is Aegean, all right. The city is Izmir, that's what the city is called. And the population is 4 million. And then I added an interesting fact about the city. And the interesting fact is Mr. Jengis is from here. That's the interesting fact about my hometown. And then when I press space, oh, when I press space, the whole thing goes away. So I can click on a different uh, city. Let's check out. Istanbul Istanbul is in the region of Marmara the city is Istanbul and the population is 15 million 15.5 million which is huge what's the population what's the population of the US or even better what's the population of New York does anybody know 
Um, and the interesting fact about Istanbul, the city, is it's not the capital of Turkey. A lot of people think Istanbul is the capital of Turkey, but it's actually not. Uh, Ankara is the capital of Turkey. So I click on Ankara. It tells me some information about that, including population. And interesting fact, this is the capital of Turkey. Everyone thinks it's Istanbul. And we got Antalya. I click on Antalya. Uh, Antalya is in the region of Mediterranean at the south of Turkey. It has 2.4 million people. And it's a great place for uh, swimming in the summer. Or all year round, really. Oh, wow. Okay. And I'll, I'll go ahead and click on each of these cities, friends. If you just joined in, this is what we're making today. An interactive map and uh, today you will get to pick your own country so it's gonna be a map of a country my question to you is what I want you all to think about is what country would you want to make a map of what country do you want to make a map of question mark I'll put that big right here IDK, yeah, maybe a country that you want to learn about, maybe a country that uh, your ancestors are from, that you're curious about, or a country that you visited before, so you would know some stuff about it. I'm going to go ahead and click on a Samsung. Samsung is in the Black Sea region, it has 1.3 million, really? Oh, I thought it was bigger. And the interesting fact about Samsung is it has great seafood, like amazing, amazing seafood. And um, yes, and then the more east we go, uh, the, the more different the cities get. So Azurum is in eastern Anatolia. It has a population of 300,000. It doesn't have many people because it is, it's amazingly cold. And friends, yes, while I'm showing you this app, let me know in the chat. What country do you want to make a map of? Uh, in here, I made a map of Turkey. That's where I'm from originally. And uh, last but not least, let's do Diyarbakir. Diyarbakir is in southeastern Anatolia region. It has a population of 1.7 million and it has amazing historical sites. Diyarbakir is a really cool place if you want to visit old ruins and stuff like that. Okay. Any ideas? What country would you choose? And friends, after we make this interactive map, if we get done with it, we'll have a Kahoot about countries right after this one. Any country. You can do any, any, any country. And yes, this is the code. All of them? Oh, wow. Maybe you can choose like a region or a continent and do information about each of the... Oh, cool about each of the countries in that continent. But friends, the first thing we're going to do is go to images.google.com. So let me erase all of this. To get started, find an image of a country, any country. And how you can do that, go to images.google.com so this is just like Google but instead of searching for search results or searching for websites we can search for photos or images let me put this link into the chat too boom 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 images.google.com bam or let me put it this way which country should I do what country are you really, really interested in these days? Wow, that's like... I could do Japan. I can do, I don't know. Um, any countries, Bolivia, 
is a country that I could do. I could do the US. US would be a really cool place. I could do Egypt. Egypt would be an interesting place. My friends, just FYI, search, hi Fiona, oh, Fiona Zeng, and then Fiona Chan. Fiona's, help me out, what country, search the country name map. Awesome, all right, Fiona says that she's going to do China. Okay, let's try that out actually. Huh? So, what you're going to do once you decide to... To pick uh, once you decide on the country you can search for China and then map so the word map is really important there if you wanna China map because otherwise it's gonna give us so many different kinds of uh, things like I don't know all these different things um, but instead of the flag or the photos or anything like that I can say China map and then I'll start getting maps of China um, Okay, I'm trying to find a good map where we can see what cities there are, what regions there are. For example, this one looks like a good one. I kind of like this one. I'm not sure. There's also here. Oh, wow. So many different regions in China. It's a huge country. So it's going to be... China is going to be hard, actually, if you want, because I believe it's the biggest country of all time. Population wise, at least. Oh, I like this one. No, no, no. I changed my mind again. I like this one. Yeah. Hi, Owen. Okay. So, friends, once you find an image, we're going to do a peace sign click. So, on top of the image, if you're using a Chromebook, make a peace sign with two fingers. And then click on the image with the two fingers like this. So the fingers should be separated. Oh, no way. Fiona Chan is Owen's sis. Like actual sis. Third. Oh, yeah, they have the same rest. Oh, wow. Fiona chose Korea. I'm going to stick with China. Uh, so friends, once you find an image, you're going to do a right click on your mouse, if you have a mouse. If you don't have a mouse and you're using a Chromebook, you can do a two finger click on your peace sign and then click like this. If you're on an iPad, you might be on an iPad or a tablet or something, you can do a long click. You can click and hold until you see this menu right here. Once you see this, friends, you're going to click on save image as. Save. Oh, uh, let me make this thing. No. Save image as, which should be somewhere right here. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, I need to make this a little bit better. Let me do this menu first and then get the arrow. Nope. Uh, all right. Okay. So, friends, look for save image as. Do you guys see that? Oh, what? Yeah, Korea is real. But uh, Fiona, you're going to have to pick Fiona and the other Fiona. Uh, you're going to have to pick one of the Koreas. There's two. There's South Korea and then there's North Korea. Nice. Yeah, Fiona. Uh, Fiona Chan, I mean, uh, yes, you can also do NYC map. That would be a really good one, actually. Then you can do cities in each borough. For example, this map right here is a really good one. Friends, again, if you're on a mouse, you're going to right click on that image and choose save image as. If you are on a Chromebook, you're going to do a two finger click, like a peace sign. And you click on the trackpad with the two fingers to get this menu and then click on save image as. If you're on a tablet, or Android tablet or iPad, uh, you can do a long click to get this menu and then save image as everyone. Friends, are we going to copy image? No. 
Are we gonna save link as? No, we're gonna save image as. Yes, you can do a PNG. PNG is a image format, I believe. Or you can do a JPEG, which is another. All right, let me save this image to my computer. Yup. And then I can go ahead and go to Scratch to make a new project. Nice. Let me put some instructions in here. What I just did, everyone. What did, what did I just do? Um, one, go to images. I hope that's big enough. Dot Google.com. That's the first thing. Search for a country map. So any country, China map, Korea map, Turkey map, um, I don't know, England map. Or it can be not a country, but a city. For example, Fiona Chan is doing... Yes, it is. If you have an image for South Korea, that's going to work out perfectly, I think. Just not much going on in North Korea, I think. I don't know. All right. So search for a country map and then three, save image as. We're going to save that image into your computer so that we can put it into uh, Scratch. Then sign in to scratch.mit.edu and upload sprite. Oh, actually, sorry. Upload background, guys. So upload background kind of looks like this. Oof. No way, I can't even edit that. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit, huh? Yes, perfect. So this button right here, upload backdrop is what we're looking for. Let me make an arrow to it. Upload background button is right here somewhere. Yep, right there. Upload backdrop. Okay. Once you click on that upload background button, you're gonna find the country map that you just downloaded and um, and then you can upload it to your Scratch as a background. Fiona Zhang says, yeah, turkey map is a picture of a fat turkey food. I gotta check this out, hold on. Oh man, sorry about all this. Let's see, turkey map. political stuff is happening here I couldn't find that image well maybe I can just search for a turkey and let's see what happens boom turkey popped up in the map isn't it weird some countries uh, have like weird names uh, Hungary Hungary is a, com a country but it sounds like Hungary oh it's a beautiful country too so yes, friends, let me put the annotations back in. You're gonna go to images.google.com and then find a map of a country or an area. Uh, for example, it could be a city, it could be a country, it can be like a continent. And then upload it as a backdrop. So you can see that arrow on my screen, it's pointing to that button where you can upload a background. Give me a yeah yeah when you have uploaded the map image so this happens a lot you gotta actually click on the image and then do a two finger click to save image as a lot of people copy image it doesn't work a lot of people save link as it doesn't work um a lot, there might be other options if you are using Mozilla Firefox, if you're not using Chrome, you might get other options. Make sure that you save image as uh, not any other option in there. All right, let me do this too. I'm going to click on upload backdrop. Oh, wow. Let me go to my downloads. And we got the China provinces here. 
Bam. There it is. There is China. I can actually make it a little bit bigger too. But before I do that, friends, I want to give you guys some time to give me a yaya. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Uh, whenever you have uploaded an image, a background, give me a yaya yeah in the chat so that I can show you what to do next. In the meantime, can I play a Kahoot song? I gotta click on play, I gotta click on teach. This time, I wanna do the Kahoot song. This is music from Kahoot, guys. I'm not opening code i just want the music from it sorry sorry don't look and i want that disco music this time bam okay wow i like that oh you can't hear the music Maybe I need to like increase the volume or something. Whoa! Yeah. Is it loud? This is the disco music. be my favorite song from Kahoot. Yeah, friends, I have to use... I want to use music from Spotify, but because of copyright, I can't use most of the songs there. But I think I can use Kahoot. I think that's free to use. Boom. All right, Fiona. You uploaded your... Awesome. Fiona Chan says, yeah, yeah, too. Let's get into it. So you might see something like this. All right, okay, okay, let's put that in the background. So you might see something like this. Friends, especially if you have a bitmap, this is gonna be really hard. It's Twin Fiona, okay, the, the Twin Fiona's. Okay, um, so, okay, where was I? Right, so, if it looks like this, friends, you might want to click on Convert to Vector. Do you, does anyone see Convert to Vector on their screen? So, if you can, Convert to Vector. Hello. Oh yeah, Fiona Chan is here. What? Nice. Oh, you're going back. Oof, oof. Oh, wow. Oof, oof. I still don't know what this oof means. Okay. I'm going to convert the vector, and hopefully that's going to make it so that I can make this map a little bit bigger, you guys. I might need to, like, stretch this out. I can zoom out a little bit. I can stretch this guy out. So that the whole thing fits the screen. How are we looking? Nice. I like this. So, friends, you might have to do it. If it says convert to vector, convert to vector, it's going to make it easier to resize this thing. So that it fits the screen a lot better. You know what? I'm gonna just kind of go right here. Hong Kong is right there. I did not know that. Oh, Tibet is right there. Beijing is there. Where's Shanghai? Shanghai is between Hong Kong and Beijing. Guangxi, Hong Kong. That's the only places I know. There's Inner Mongolia. That's crazy. Uh, 
Hi, Journey with KT. Yes, uh, Journey with KT. Let's let's catch you up a little bit. Uh, hi, Journey with KT. Yes. So one friends, go to images.google.com. Let me make sure that that's a clickable link. Images.google.com. Once you go there, find an image of a map. So this can be any kind of map. It can be a map of a country. It can be a map of a continent. It can be a map of a city. Beyond Chan is going to do New York City, which has so many different boroughs. Oh, I should bring myself down. You guys can't see that. And then what you can do is you can resize that image to fit your screen. So once you find an image of a map, download the image, right? And then for upload the image to Scratch. And let me put that as a link to scratch.mit.edu. Right, you're going to have to create a new project. And friends, maybe you know this already, but you upload backdrops. You can upload the image as a backdrop by clicking right here on my screen where it says upload backdrop. Boom. Okay. How are we doing? Am I going too fast? Because it's time to, oh yeah. <laughs> it's time to delete the cat, you guys. Let's get rid of the cat. We got a background. I have a map of China. Amazing. Next up. Next. Make your own sprite. How do we make our own sprites, friends? You're going to click. You're going to hover your mouse over here. And then click on the paintbrush right here. Nice. And friends, as always, uh, I'm Mr. Jengis. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the chat. If I'm going too fast, let me know in the chat. And I noticed that some of you haven't liked this video yet. What gives? Yes. You can, you can like and subscribe below. And you can always check out our website, www.codespeaklabs.com slash register to sign up for online classes. One person sent a like. Yes. Fiona Zhang just liked. Thank you for liking, Fiona. All right, we're gonna paint. Isn't it this way? This is the like and subscribe, right? No, this is like and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like and subscribe. No, this is like and subscribe. Oh man, my image, <laughs> my Im image is inverted. My camera is inverted. All right. Next, let's make our own sprite. Let me put this as an instruction here. Let me delete this guy. Let's zoom out a little bit. Come on. Cool. All right. Next, after you upload, after you upload a map as background, make your own sprite. And we do that new sprite. We make our own sprites by going, hovering over the choose a sprite button, not clicking it, but then clicking on the paint brush. So we can draw and make our own sprite. Once you do that, we'll get something like this. Friends, using the circle tool. Make a circle. Yeah, that's it. Make your own sprite. And make a circle. And friends, the color of the circle is really up to you. This is going to be like the dot of the, of the city that we're going to use. I don't know. I don't know what color to make this. But red seems to be good. It's going to stand out. Um, 
We could also make it other colors like uh, blue, maybe. Let's see what that looks like. That's kind of cool, but I want something like more shiny. Maybe, oops, maybe green. Uh, I'm gonna stick with red, red all the way. Yes, Fiona Chan, you got it. Yes, uh, let me let me show that. Right, um, I don't always show that. So, friends, on your keyboard, there is a button called uh, Shift. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, we can hold, press and hold Shift to make a perfect circle. But the moment I let go of Shift on my keyboard, it starts becoming oval or whatever shape I want. But if I press and hold Shift on my keyboard, yeah, there's a button called Shift on your keyboard. If you press and hold that, it will give you a perfect, perfect circle. Uh, and friends, let's let me uh, phrase it this way: make a circle as small as possible. Make a circle as small as possible. Yeah, it looks big. I mean, it might look small here, but in in the in the project itself, it's gonna have to be a lot smaller. Like this is gonna be Shanghai. This dot. Um, so maybe we can make this. A little bit smaller even than this. We can try it out. Pressing shift, resize. Oh. Don't press shift. Oops. And then friends, I think I'm gonna make this red. Red is gonna be a lot better. I is smart, that's right. I is uh much smart. Right, Fiona? I think that's the correct way of say, uh, saying it. Oh yes, Fiona Zhang, Zhang says, "Can we change the color of the circle?" Yes, uh, you can. You can do it two ways. You can use the arrow tool, select the circle, and then change its color. Or you can use the bucket tool. Choose the bucket tool, select the color, and then click on the circle to change its color. Uh, again, friends, I want this thing red. Cool. Oh, hey, Novo! Hey, 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 Novo! That is smart. That is well smart. I think that's how you correctly say it, Fiona. That is well smart. Or, like, maybe that is much smart. Right? Fiona, you're a, a Blackpink fan as well? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes! Uh, Journey with KT. Yes! Um... But there is so much to do with Scratch. So before moving on to text-based programming language, um, I want to finish Scratch altogether and do everything we can on it. But next, uh, in the future, I want to do JavaScript. Have you guys done JavaScript before? Um, has anyone done? Anyone done uh, coded in JavaScript before? Anyone here? If you want, yeah, awesome. No, nice, yes. Uh, and JavaScript is the most common uh, programming language out there, which means that, uh, yeah, if you know JavaScript, it might be possible for you to get a job right away. Uh, so, and it's existed for a long time. JavaScript existed longer than Python. So that's why I wanna go into JavaScript next instead of um, instead of Python but first I really want to get done with anything we can do on scratch because a lot of people in college learn coding with scratch because you can do a lot of complex things with it all right did you guys make a circle did you make a circle yet 
Hold on. Nava, I want some food, please. Please. Oh, wow. Please. Nava is gonna give us some food in the chat. All right. Okay. Whoa, sushi. I want some sushi. Fiona Zhang. Ooh. Meh. Just exclamation points. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, and friends, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a text. So this is going to be Shanghai. Shang. Right. Hi. And I'm going to change the font of it to marker. I can make it as big as I want. As small as I want. And then fit it right here. Shanghai. What? Can I change the font of this to something else? Maybe. I don't know. Handwriting. No. Nah. Maybe. You know what? I like marker the most. So friends, after you make a circle, make add add the name, add the city name. And just FYI, if you want to change font, you can change font here. Whoa! Oh wow, I was I wasn't looking at the chat, but now I look there, and Nava sent a bunch of. Uh, delicious foods let's um oh wow well. can i copy that and paste it in no way i can do that kt journey with kt uh has a lot of fruits in there i'll add those in oh nava came through with uh a lot of Sushis too. Let me add these sushis in here. Boom. It's a feast in here. Sorry. Are we wasting time? How much time do we have? Okay. All right, friends. Once you are done with that, let's get into the code. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible uh, so that you know we can get through with this really quick. All right. I'm gonna go to my blocks and click on make a block. So after you made the dot with the city name and after you uploaded the background of the country, make a block. Have you guys ever made blocks before? It feels great. It feels great to make a block. Okay, the name of this block is going to be show. And we're going to add how many? Yeah, let's add four inputs. So click on add an input four times to get these things. And you can rename these things. This is going to show a fact about uh, that city. For example, Shanghai. Okay. All right. Uh, so first, I'm going to add the province information. What province is Shanghai from? And then I'm going to add uh, the name of the city. Which is going to be Shanghai. And then I'm, I'm going to add the population here. And then I'm going to add... Oh, an interesting fact. That's right. An interesting fact. Awesome. And then I'll click on OK. And I got this thing right here. Boom. This thing that says define. So friends, what I just did is I clicked on make a block, make a block called show with four inputs. Uh, and this can be four, three, it depends on what you want to add here, but I'm going to talk about province, city, name, population, and interesting fact. Oh, wow. I haven't seen the chat in a while. What happened in the chat? Whoa. Oh, 
All right, friends. I was able to do just one city so far. And I'm wondering, can you guys let me know in the chat? What do you think? More coding? Or Kahoot now? Because th this is kind of a good place to stop. And then we can continue next week from where we left off and add more cities and actually finish the code for Shanghai. Let's see what people are going to say. Kahoot, yeah. All right, let me put this music on. Bam. And this time I'm gonna do 80s vibe music. All right, friends, for today's Kahoot. Kahoot about countries. And remember friends, one, uh, you can Google. You can Google. That's totally, totally allowed. Not you, Google. No. Let me put it this way. You are allowed pick any nickname. And um, last but not least, yes, you can shout out the the answers in the chat. All right, Journey with KT is here. Alyssa is here. Hi, Alyssa. I didn't see you in the chat. Yes. Um, let me put the information in the chat too. HTTP. Kahoot.it. And the pin number is 750670. Yes. The winner oh this is of this Kahoot will win uh, five million dollars. Really? And friends, as always, if you can, please, please, please like and subscribe. I hope I'm pointing in the right direction right now. Like and subscribe to this channel. It really, really helps me make more videos so that in the future I can get into JavaScript and then maybe HTML web design, maybe graphic design, and we can add more and more videos, maybe even Lego robotics. Fiona Zeng says that's not true. It is true, Fiona. I just forgot my cash at home. I'm not going to be able to give it to you now. But yes, if you win this Kahoot at some point in the future, uh, I'll bring my checkbook so I can write you a check for $5 million if you win this Kahoot. Yes. All right. Journey with KT, Alyssa, Jisoo, Kim, and Fiona 1, Fiona 2 are here. Fiona 1 has a really cute emojis there so let's just see i just have a i only have have a few uh, bitcoins that's all i have okay everyone i'm clicking on start in five i'm clicking on start let me pin this up Yeah, it is. Uh, okay, four, three, two, one, and uh, let's go. I'm gonna clear all this stuff. Put this away. Okay. Lake Baikal is the deepest lake in the world. Where is it located? I use OBS. Software. Tense music here. Yes, 
Lake Baikal is the deepest lake in the world. It's located in Russia. And look at that. That looks like a that looks like an ocean. You might have. Oh yes. Did you want to join in, friends? As always, you can always join into the Kahoot.it. And the pin number is in the chat. 750-670. Or it's on my screen if you can see it. It's very, very small, but it's right here. Oh wow. And friends, you're allowed to Google. In all of these Kahoots, you are allowed to Google. Just FYI. Next question. What's the story of the Statue of Liberty on Liberty Island in New York City? It's a gift from France to the people of the USA, or it was ordered from China and delivered by boat, or uh, it was built by an American architect as a symbol of freedom, or it's a gift from Canada to the people of the USA. Seems like it might be a gift. Oh, nice. Okay, Zeng is number two, Chan is number one. Is it? You guys knew this one. Okay, this one was an easy one. How about this one then? Famous composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in which country? So... Who's first? And feel number two is you. And Jaylene is just saying oop. Or Lyrical is just saying oop. Okay. Really? You can use Google. Really? Famous composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born in which country? Oh yeah, and friends, just FYI, the winner of this Kahoot will get five million dollars from me. Really? I'm not lying. Austria was the correct answer. Yes. Oh wow, okay, alright. Let's see. Where do French fries originally come from? Yeah, this is not obvious. Where do French fries originally come from? Or as known in the USA, freedom fries. Or we can do it now, now we can do it so that like, first place gets five, second place gets four million, third place gets three million, fourth place gets two million. Really, you guys knew that one? Wow, most of you knew this one. I did not know this one. I thought they were French. French fries were originated in Belgium. Not France, not USA. Oh wow, things changed. Okay. Fiona Ch Zhang is in first place right now. Journey with KT is in second place. Oh wow, okay. Still though, we have a lot of questions left. Let's move on. Okay, this country has more pyramids than any other country. Boom. It's not obvious. You might think it's Egypt or Mexico. Yeah, Fiona, I noticed that. So on your own screen, you might see the questions. How? That was really good, guys. That I'm, I'm assuming that you Googled this because I had no idea. Sudan, which is a country nearby Egypt, has more pyramids than Egypt itself. Hi, Melissa. <laughs> yeah, Melissa, if you want to join in, I know we did a few. We're halfway through with the Kahoot, but you can always join in for funsies. Uh, you can go to Kahoot.it and enter the pin 750670. Huh. Nava just went up to the second place right now. Crazy. And Nava, you're on, or sorry, Jisoo Kim, 
you are on fire. Okay, this country follows the calendar, which is seven years behind the rest of the world. So it's like the same calendar, but it's just seven years behind the rest of the world. I have no idea why they do that. Right? I thought it was Egypt too. I had somebody fact check it. It turns out Sudan has more pyramids than Egypt. They were probably all Egypt empire back in the day. Maybe Egypt has the biggest pyramids. Is it Ethiopia? Oh wow, it is. I thought it was Russia. Oh wow, that's crazy. All right, Fiona number one went up one place. We still have a long way to go. Which country covers almost 50% of the South American continent? This is a very big country. It covers almost 50% of the South American continent. It's the biggest country in South America. No worries, Melissa. But Melissa, what we're doing is we're all, we can also do this. You can shout out the wrong answer to make people pick it. For example, I know that Peru, I'm, I'm sorry, not Peru, uh, Venezuela, I mean, oh, Brazil. Gotcha. And what I'm trying to say is you can try to throw each other off by shouting out the wrong answers in the chat. Look at that, that's Brazil. That's beautiful. Wow, I want to go there. But Fiona, Argentina was not the correct answer. What? Okay. Jisoo Kim, you are still on fire. So you better watch out. Fiona number two, Fiona Zhang. Okay, the heaviest building in the world which is that many kilograms, is located in which country? The heaviest building in the world. I thought the pyramids would be heavier. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll make it so that like, even if you get third place, you get two million dollars at least. And then fourth place gets one million. And then fifth place gets like an Oreo cookie or something. Is it Germany? It could be Germany. Yeah. Huh. It could be Germany. Sorry. Germany with KT says the same. Okay, yeah, I'll make it so that second place gets $4 million. Romania, yes. Nice one. I don't know what building this is, but apparently it is the heaviest building in the world. Looks pretty big. Huh. Alright. Nothing has changed so far. Alright. Okay, in which country is selling, importing, or spitting out chewing gum illegal? In this country, it's illegal to chew gum. Well, actually, it's not illegal to chew gum, but selling it is illegal. Bringing it into the country is illegal. And spitting it out on the street is very illegal in this country. And I think this country is North Korea, you guys. North Korea is famously restrictive on people. Nobody picked North Korea. How is that? How did you all know that? Everybody knew that it was Singapore. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. I'm going to guess you guys Googled that. That's what I'm going to guess. All right. We have two more questions left. 
Scores are really close, guys. Journey with KT is really close with Jisoo Kim. Jisoo Kim is really close to Fiona number two. And even uh, Alyssa and Fiona number one, they can get into the top three, maybe. All right. The concept of shampooing from the word shampoo means to massage. Uh, this concept of shampooing came from which country? Uh, it's my hometown. Did I tell you guys? Turkey is my home country. That's where I'm from. Yeah, we, we invented shampooing among other things. Yeah, Turkey was the first country to do shampooing. First country to wear pants. This is true. And Turkey was the first country to uh, eat jelly beans. A lot of first. I got one person to pick Turkey. Uh, yes, friends. The correct and uh, the correct answer was India. Seriously, a lot of things came from India and China. It seems like. Oh, so that just happened. Journey with Kathy is on fire, first of all, and he jumped up. They jumped up to second place, and Jisoo Kim is in third place. It's gonna be a close one, friends. This is the last question. Fiona, you actually said the correct answer in there. Yeah, you can just Google it. But you will waste time. All right. Now there's like money. Now, yeah, at, at this rate, in third place, you'll get three million dollars. Fiona, one will get uh, one million dollar. I mean, two million dollars, and uh, Alyssa will get a uh, one million dollar. Okay. All right. Last question, everyone. Last question. Where were the first sailing boats built? Who built the first sailing boats ever? They didn't have motors back then. They didn't have ships. All they had was either rowing or sails. Sailing is a lot better than rowing. Oh, no, I think you misunderstood. First place gets uh, 5 million. Fifth place gets 1 million. Yeah. But if you get fifth place five times, then you end up getting 5 million. Is it England? Oh, it's Egypt. I was going to guess Greece. I thought it was Greece. I gotta, I gotta look this up, you guys. Um, where, yeah, let me copy this. Where were the first sailing boats built? Where were the first sailing boats built? It says South China Sea. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about this one, guys. Right? Alright, I think I'm gonna have to remove that question. Sailing. The first sailing vessels were developed for use in the South China Sea by the Austronesian peoples. And also independently in lands abutting the Western Mediterranean Sea in 2nd millennium BCE. Which is... Which could be... Alright, I'm gonna have to remove that last question. Sorry about that, guys. I don't think this was the correct answer. Oh, it, no, no, it is. Sorry. Oh, so it, it is in China, but it could also be Egypt, maybe. Hmm. All right, I'll, I'll just remove that question because... Yeah, and, and it said that it was actually... Oh. I'm gonna have to look this up actually. All right, guys, let's see the podium. Let's see what happened. One person got that right, by the way. Uh, third place is Jisoo Kim. Congratulations, you get $3 million. Fiona number two. Congratulations, you get 4 million. And first place goes to. 
Journey with KT. Congratulations, you get $5 million. Fiona number two gets two, and Alyssa gets $1 million. Uh, I'm so sorry, friends. I didn't bring my cash with me. Uh, I can't give you the million dollars now. Yeah, Nava. Yeah, yeah, you all get million dollars. I can't give you the money now, but I assure you next class I'll bring my checkbook so I can write it down and, and send it over to you. That was amazing, guys. That changed up so much. And Journey with Katie, you were like at fourth place at some point, and then you went up to first place all of a sudden. The hardest question was this one. Where were sailing boats built? The first sailing boats built. I would have guessed Norway or Greece. But apparently, <laughs> I gotta look that up too. Apparently it was Egypt. Yeah, by getting that question, you were the only one joining with KT to get this question right. And that jumped you up to first place all of a sudden. Boom. That was awesome. GG, everyone. Uh, next class will finish our interactive map and then after we do the interactive map friends i want to slowly slowly start transitioning to javascript i'm not sure uh, when that will happen but it'll happen eventually yes and in the meantime though please 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 like and subscribe for this uh, video if you subscribe that's going to make me able to put more videos every week in different languages in different coding languages and maybe we'll start doing graphic design too, because drawing is a lot of fun. Nice. And friends, you can check out our website, codespeaklabs.com, slash register to see online classes for yourself if you want to do a summer camp, for example. Uh, this summer, we're going to have Among Us camp, so we're going to be able to make um, Among Us game step-by-step -step throughout a week-long camp. And it's all online, so you can check that out there. Nice, everyone. I'll see you all next time, next week. Bye-bye. Bye.